Hi, this is Attila, and this is a, a battle group guide for Steel Division Normandy 44, and this is a battle group guide. In this case, this is the second infantry Indian Ed. Uh, this is a battle group uh, that I created. I'll give you the code down below in the description or uh, where you find it. Uh, and this is uh, actually um, an infantry division, mostly. Uh, which means that their tanks are not that great and uh, they have other capacity and different interest uh, than other battle groups so i'll explain to you the choice of units i'm doing and uh, after that i'll make a different video in which i will explain how to use this so let's start with the rec recon tab so i'm bringing two groups of uh, marauders and these these are recons uh, that have an anti-tank now unlike the german one this one only has 200 meter which can do a difference uh, but i guess they can still be very stealthy and able to take out enemy tank if you manage to keep them concealed and ambush them around the place also they have some experience which make them more effective uh, at that task i suppose then I bring, oh yeah, also a small thing. They have an amphibious vehicle, which can be useful. So then I use the scouts and these actually come with uh, an M3 scout. So th this has an MG, which is practical. And you can suppress the enemy with that. And these scouts are actually four soldiers, which make them okay to perhaps fight a little, but not much. Then let's go to infantry. So here I'm bringing a leader group, so two star leader. Then I'm bringing an R, uh, RGR support, and these have uh, actually an MG. Uh, they have also some experience, so that makes them kind of good at suppressing the enemy in towns, for example. Then I'm bringing some rifles. These actually come with an amphibious vehicle, and I think the leader do as well. So that's practical. And uh, also this is probably the unit that you'll use to push forward uh, in town while the support will support you. Then here I'm bringing some rangers with flame tour that can be very useful both in town and forest. Uh, maybe not that great in field, but uh, this is a practical unit. They also have uh, two uh, stars. Then you have uh, the Rangers uh, M1919 MG, so this will suppress the enemy. It also has some uh, two-star experience, which make them very capable of uh, sustaining a lot of punishment, let's say. Uh, that's all phase A. So this is uh, this means that this deck is really designed to have good units early on capture territory and then uh, at phase b uh, you're probably more in a defensive stance because of the rest of the the battle group which i'll explain now uh, we can perhaps take a little look i pretty much bring all the units except the leaders here which uh, i don't really think are that useful later on if you manage to keep your original leader alive it doesn't change much also, the original leader is two star, while the later leaders are only one star. Okay, tank wise, here you can see that I actually don't bring any a, a phase tank, and that's because uh, I don't really believe much into that uh, first wave. But I guess that first tank is amphibious, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but that uh, the phase A takes too many cards for my uh, interest, I guess. Uh, so I'll only bring them at phase B uh, with, uh, with one star of experience, but still this is uh, this is an amphibious sh uh, Sherman, which can be interesting, uh, but I don't really think it will be that interesting. Uh, but time will tell, I guess. Then I bring uh, I bring a Commander Sherman, and this is two-star tank, so a bit better than the others. And this is a Commander, so that will influence tank around him. 
but that's it for B phase. And at fee C phase, I bring uh, the, that Rhino, which has a thicker front armor, uh, the end number also. And the reason why I don't bring M4A1 is because I really don't think they are up to the task uh, against Panther or that kind of stuff. So it's a bit of a waste. While the Rhino might have a bit more of a chance of survival, but I doubt it. What could be interesting, I don't know yet, I haven't tested out, but uh, this tank might be able to go through forest because it has this thing, but I doubt it. So we'll see. If the game allows that, that would be nice. Okay, support. I bring a command vehicle. I'm not sure if that's such a great idea. I think uh, the infantry command vehicle uh, is good enough. I think I'll bring an M7 instead. So I bring a T38 HMC and this thing has two experience. So early on it's very good to suppress uh, enemy infantry or anti-tank or whatever. Then I bring this one, which is similarly effective. Uh, this one has 9 HE, while well, this one has 15. This one has 8 AP, which is good. This one doesn't have AP, but I guess 15 HE compensate for that. Then I bring in phase C uh, some supplies. Although I might probably need more than that earlier. Okay, let's let's redo this. Let's use this and let's use this. And here, let's use this instead. Okay, so why did I just do this change? Uh, it's because, first of all, uh, in later tab of this uh, battle group, you'll see that I have some artillery, but I have it early on. So I do need some supplies early on, so that will be one there. Then I can bring this one to suppress enemy infantry. Uh, while this one, I have doubt about it. It might be a big target for the enemy. It seemed very powerful, but it's mostly uh, effective against building and infantry. While here, phase C, it's always useful to have supplies for your anti-air and uh, anti-tank and whatever. Speaking of anti-tank, uh, phase A, I bring an M1 gun, 57 millimeter. I then phase B, I bring M5 gun, 76 millimeter. And during the phase B, I also bring the M1A1 dis tank destroyer, or destroyer only in this case. And this is a very good uh, destroyer because it has 13 AP power, which is more than your 10 AP power of tank. And also it's a bit weaker in terms of armor, but this is a very effective unit overall. And that's why later on I bring additional uh, troops. Uh, well, uh, additional M10A1 destroyer. And the reason why I bring this instead of uh, anti-tank gun is mostly because uh, your anti-tank gun have a tendency to get destroyed by airstrike or artillery. While these, you can move them around much faster. And later on, if you're on the advance, you might need mobility. While if you're on the defense, uh, you, you should still have those AT guns. Anti-air, I use the bow for uh, two group of them for A phase, which make this uh, battle group kind of effective at chasing the enemy away because that unit has good HE power. Uh, it's also very effective at suppressing infantry. Uh, and suppressing vehicle as well. So two group of them. Then I uh, bring a vehicle which has also 9 HE, so that's practical, 37 millimeter. It suppresses the enemy. The reason why I'm not bringing that uh, M16 is because it's have uh, si oh, 16 HE. Revis revisiting this there. <laughs> but uh, usually I, I rarely see uh, uh, that suppress much the enemy, let's say. So I'll bring both. And phase B, I bring this, M16 and M15. There we go. So wave A in terms of uh, artillery. So I bring uh, the mortar 60 millimeter. That can be useful and not too expensive. It's, I guess it's very nice to have some smoke screen early on at the beginning. You can bring four of them, so that can attract the, the enemy attention a little and you can afford to lose it. Uh, but it's practical and fire fast. Uh, then I bring the 107 millimeter uh, mortar. 
uh, that's a useful unit because it has a much more HE power, which can be useful. Then I bring M4A1 uh, with off map artillery. This is very nice because you can uh, move them around and they have a chance to survive some artillery strike and that kind of stuff. And you can fire three artillery strike on the enemy. Then later on, I bring the M3 OP. I guess it's OP. Uh, so 203 millimeter strike, uh, I bring a lo lot of them. So this means that later on, if you bring this and support your tank, you will be able to probably push forward. But I think just because it's kind of expensive, I might probably more uh, bring here six uh, Awitzer like this. That's a lot of support, by the way. So that will be potentially useful if um, these don't do the job or not. Okay, in terms of air, I bring a Cassio, a uh, grass upper. Sorry, um, nearly said Cassio P, but that's not it. Um, here I bring a uh, two lightning. Uh, these uh, is this is the fighter version, and because people are a bit uh, used to the uh, P. Uh, 38 to be a, a bomber they might uh, think they are not fighters so this this is the fighter version then i bring a p38 lightning uh, with rockets to kill the anti-tank or whatever shows up then i bring the thunderbolt with the two actually well yeah a bomb of 230 kilogram and finally, some uh, additional Thunderbolt uh, with rockets. And this will be to suppress the enemy tank. So let's save this. And this is it for this uh, battle group. Uh, I will do a video guide after that showing you how to use it. So I'll see you there.